Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm actually gonna be comparing the new NARS Light Refracting Foundation and the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Medium, Medium Coverage Liquid Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. So these two claim to do basically the same things, approve the look of your skin, redness, pores, all that jazz. So I wanted to see if these two actually are basically the same thing with just different price tags or the act there's actually a difference when it comes to like wear time and how it looks on your skin. So I know one's more liquidy, this one's more like of a thicker consistency. We shall see which one ends up looking the best on, on my skin by the end of the day. So on my left side, I'm gonna be using the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation and I do have the shade Patagonia. This is M1.2, so medium. Um, this two might be, this one might be a little darker than this, so I might have a little bit of a color difference, but that will change once I have my foundation, my foundation, my concealer and my bronzer on. So I'm gonna use sponges for both of these products and these two are clean. So I'm gonna use this one for the Charlotte and I'm gonna use this one for the NARS. I have been applying these foundations with my beauty sponges just because, I don't know, I've been liking the finish and honestly, even though it does soak up a little bit of your product, it just looks really good on your skin. So I am shaking this up pretty well. This one is $49, so I don't know if I've said that already. And this one is liquid formula, medium coverage, natural finish, good for redness, good for dullness, and even texture, good for dark spots. And it has biomedic oat, visibly improves clarity by reducing the appearance of redness. Japanese lily tuff supports a strong skin barrier by helping maintain moisture. Cocoa peptides and milk thistle minimize the negative effect of blue light and environmental stressors. So I do have a review on this foundation up on my channel already. I think I'm gonna do like maybe one pump just to see how it covers up like one half of my space. And if you guys haven't seen it already, I'll go ahead and leave like a card up here for you guys so you guys can go ahead and check that out. So I do have primer on. I'm using my One Size Beauty Secure the Blur, Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. I'm just gonna pounce this onto my skin. So I think I am gonna go ahead and do one more pump. Maybe one and a half, there we go. So here is my skin with the NARS. As you can tell there is Luminosity, it's pretty dewy. And I did use one more pump, which I should have just done one more instead of like one and a half. Now I have a little bit left over on my hand. So you can tell that's pretty dewy and just looks very healthy on your skin. Honestly, you guys, I've been loving both of these foundations for different reasons. And I'm kind of glad I'm doing this video just because I can get like my full opinions on both of them and see how well they last. All right, so for this side, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. And this is in the shade five neutral. This one's long wearing, medium coverage, natural finish, hyaluronic acid, best for dry combo normal skin, and it is cruelty free. And the ingredients is hyaluronic acid, hydrates and revitalizes skin's outer visible layers. Rose complex reduces visible signs of fatigue for brightener, <laughs> for brighter, smoother looking skin. Bix active visibly reduces shine and the blurs the look of pores. And this one is, let's see, $44. This one says it's a 16 hour natural glow foundation with biddable coverage, medium coverage, to hydrate smooth blue pores and brighten skin. 
The NARS one, which I forgot to read, is an advanced makeup skincare hybrid foundation with natural finish that quickly blurs and smooths while visibly improving skin's clarity over time. So basically the same thing. I'm gonna do, I think just a one pump of that because this does get like, it goes a long way. So I am using the Makeup by REL sponge his collection with Morphe. I'm going on this side of my face. Actually, I am gonna go in with one more pump. Half a pump actually to see. And you can instantly tell the difference between the colors. But that will go away once I put my concealer on, like I said before. So both of these do claim to have a natural finish. So this is my skin with the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. And they do claim they're both natural finishes, which I can kind of see it now that they're both settling into my face. So NARS, Charlotte Tilbury. All right, so I'm gonna be back on as soon as I finish my, the rest of my makeup to show you how everything looks on the skin. Okay guys, so I did my makeup as usual, set how I usually set my face and put blush, bronzer, highlight. And honestly, I can't tell the difference between the two foundations. They both look very beautiful and you can't even tell the color difference anymore. But we shall see how both of these foundations perform at the end of the day. So it is currently 11.58, now I'm filming this. I don't know if my camera's picking that up, but it's 11.58. So I do have a couple things to do today, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll come back and see which one I like the most and see, or just see how both of these just end up wearing throughout the day. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right guys, so it is 6 to 34. And let's go ahead and take a look at my skin. Okay, so I do feel like this side of my face, which is the Charlotte Tilbury, did fade a lot more on this bob section of my face compared to this side of my face. But overall, honestly, they look practically the same. My forehead looks the same. Um, this side looks a little better in my opinion compared to this side. But I honestly see no difference. If I had a preference, I'd probably just go for the NARS side instead of the Charlotte Tilbury, which is a lot because I like this foundation a lot. But I definitely do see some, I definitely see this side being the better side. So I'll go ahead and zoom you guys in just a little bit so you can see. All right, so this is the NARS side. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. My forehead basically looks the same from both sides. Um, as in longevity, this side's better like I've said before. It also has to do with the fact that I was wearing a mask, so maybe this side was just rubbing on my face a little bit too much on my mask than this side. But quite honestly, I love them both. It's just personal preference, I would say. But I have been gravitating towards my NARS one 
as an everyday foundation and then this one when I want to have like a fuller coverage type of foundation. So what do you guys think about these foundations? I love them both equally. I can't Honestly, I can't pick which one I like the most. They both look super beautiful in the skin. The only difference is like the price difference. Charlotte Tilbury is 44 and the NARS is I believe 49, which there is like a five or six dollar price difference. That's without taxes. So you guys let me know in the comment section below which one you prefer. And also, which one do you think lasted the longest on my skin? All right, you guys. I hope you guys had a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.